What is it? Why are you staring at that thing? Something so strangely familiar. Boomerang? That's what you call a great reference because this is the Dragon Prince and it is so much like The Last Airbender which is one of my favorite shows of all time. Now we have The Dragon Prince, at least three seasons of it so far and I've been meaning to talk about it for a while because I loved it from the first season although it had its janky animation, everyone knows about that. But here we have so many great things, we have references like that we have so many great jokes and humor and characters. Oh, Raylum, that is a ship I am always going to be behind. Uh, yeah, so uh, you were gone for a while and now uh, this is the thing, so. What? That kind of humor, that kind of romance, that kind of animation is just so much fun. And that's what the Dragon Prince is. Like seriously, it is so entertaining, but it does obviously have its flaws. Like. Oh, the dragon's mom just wakes up. All right, <laughs> that just happened. And then you have uh, Callum trying, I was gonna say Raylan for a second. You have Callum trying to do the wing um, magic and stuff. And then when he's falling, he says, I love you. And oh, what do you know? He's able to use the wings. I didn't know that the wind arcanine, that's a Pokemon. I didn't know that the wind magic was powered by love. Is it really powered by love? But I will give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they did show him practicing once and he failed a few times, so there's that at least. Enough about that stuff, because this show is amazing. It follows three characters, Callum, Rayla, and Ezra, as they go to return the Dragon Prince to his mother and bring together humanity and all these other species because humanity is on the brink of war and they've actually started the war with the elves, with all the dragons, with all these other creatures. And overall throughout the journey they meet Sauron, well he's already there from the start but he is my favorite character. And he's such a funny character and he's so entertaining and he's got a good moral compass because he changed his side from his father's side to that of Callum. Then you have his sister, which I can't remember the name of, so I'm gonna call her season one love interest because that's who she was in season one. Yeah, she had some personality, but she was Callum's love interest in season one. And with her, you know, she's slowly, slowly losing some of herself more for her father. And it's so cool to see what that's gonna come into because I feel like she's gonna be the crux which might bring him down. Overall, these three seasons have been entertaining with some pretty brilliant action, some excellent storytelling, and so many great characters. If you haven't seen The Dragon Prince yet, I would highly recommend it. I will put a timestamp so you missed all those spoilers, you would have ended up right here. So make sure, after watching this video, you go and watch The Dragon Prince. So with that all said and done, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below on what you think about The Dragon Prince. Are you gonna watch it now? Do you like The Last Airbender? Because if you do, you'll like this show. Hit that subscribe button and until next time, I'll see us.